stereotype, I think, is that uh, about female hunters, that female hunters aren't serious, that we all like to wear pink, and, and that, of course, is not true. Um, there are a lot of really dedicated women in the field of hunting, uh, very dedicated to conservation, uh, wildlife habitat. We want to ensure that the wildlife are there for our future generations. We are living a lifestyle that is healthy and we want to bring our children and more people into this lifestyle so that they can experience the wonder of nature the same way that we do. We're headed out to uh, find some muskox. Uh, they're repacking the sled, making it a little more comfortable to travel in. That's how we're traveling right now. Lots of sign, gra uh, grazing areas, uh -huh. but no, nothing yet. Matter of the sun shining, it's still cold. I'm thinking, man, if you didn't have the right equipment, you would die quick. You would die real quick out here. Cold, cold and barren. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just reached my toes now. <laughs> well, we are headed out for muskox. Hopefully we can get it done tonight because it is cold out here. Muskoks are beautiful creatures. If you look at this valley they're in, it, it's like you're gone, you've gone back to the ice age almost. I mean, it's just, it's an unbelievable experience. And I've got to experience it with some good guys. My guide Jeffrey and Epi and uh, Terry. And they've been really gracious to us and been real good at sharing sharing this land of theirs and their animals and their experiences with us and for that I'll always be grateful it's been a one of those things you maybe dream about or sometimes can't even imagine and then all of a sudden it happens and I mean when I say all of a sudden maybe you know we've been planning it for a year but when then when it finally happens it happens and this is a wonderful muskox he was with a group of probably 12, I don't know, maybe more, I didn't count them. And he's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So 
so I'm very grateful that the Lord allowed me to harvest him.